Okay. This is Umar Ahmed for IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast. With me is a man we haven't had on the channel for God knows how long. Ryan Garner is back mm. on April 30th. Uh, yeah, just buzzing, I'm sure you are, to, to be back in the ring on April 30th, Ryan. Yeah, like you say, it's been a little while. I haven't been on IFL for a little while, doing no interviews. I haven't fought for over a year again, but now there's light at the end of the tunnel and just over two weeks, I'll be back in there making a statement and then staying busy from there. Ryan, before we talk about April 30th more, um, oh, you just lost you there. Yeah, sorry, mate. Come on, you got it? Yeah, got you yeah. back. So, um, whenever I talk to anyone in British boxing, they yeah. say, oh, oh you're gone again. <laughs> sorry, I must have dropped it. That's right, mate. Whenever, murders here, we? <laughs> whenever I speak to anyone in British boxing, they say potentially you could be the biggest wasted talent there is. Um, what has gone wrong for you so far in your career, Ryan? Um, I just think it's a mixture of different things, just me, my personal life, and just loads of other things. But I'm moving forward now. Do you know what I mean? I don't want to dwell on all the past and that. And I think everything's really, really looking positive at the moment. Like, I've got my head on. Just got everything just looking positive in life, really. And I'm on the up, and it's going to stay that way. Why is it going to be different this time? Um... Oh my god, mate! Keep dropping it every time it buzzes. Um, different this time. Uh, I don't know. I just got a different head on. I've got a lot more responsibilities now. Obviously, I've got a girlfriend. We've got our own place. We've got a flat and that. So I've got a lot more going on in my life, personal life, that I need to be focused on to like pay bills, etc. So I've got a more mature, more mature head on my shoulders now. Ryan, how old are you? Twenty three. Twenty three. Yeah. Okay, so you've still got plenty of time in the game. Yeah, exactly. But I don't want to keep having to revert back to saying that I've got, I'm young, I'm this and that. Do you know what I mean? I've got loads of time because before you know it, you blink and then you're not young no more. So I can't dwell on that age no more. And I think I've, I've grew up a bit recently and yeah, just going to stay focused. Okay. When I spoke, uh, when I speak to people inside the game, you know, they say that you're already at world level. You could jump into world level now. That's how talented yeah. you are. Um, so what, what is the plan with yourself? What have you discussed with Frank and Wayne about getting you back on track? Uh, um, well, I know, obviously, I wanted, ideally I wanted to go back into this eight-rounder. But obviously, where I've been out for a year and obviously the other fighters on the bill. Oh, can you still see me? No. Sorry, mate. So it's just oh. someone trying to ring me. On, man. Busy man, <laughs> um, yeah, uh, yeah. I got so I got a six rounder, but I want to soon as soon as I get this dealt with and hopefully make a statement and look good. Hopefully, straight away they get me out an eight rounder, which I believe so will happen. Do you know what I mean? I'll stay busy and then just keep just keep an active flow, fighting all the time, staying busy, and then after that get into hopefully just a little bit of a total mix domestically or anything like that. What weight do you want to uh, campaign at, Ryan? Uh, super featherweight. Okay. Super oh. featherweight. Obviously, I was aiming at the start of my career was featherweight, but I just, obviously all the hiccups we've had and they just knew that I was too grown out of it and I couldn't make that no more. It was just physically impossible. And you referred earlier to kind of the bad habits that set you back. How long, yeah. how many weeks, how many months would you say that you've been on track now, Ryan, in the gym? Um, don't know, really. Months now, I'd say. Months, yeah, really. So it's, it was all good. It's really just, I was working at, but I've just stopped this uh, last week, just gone, just to train full time again and make sure that I'm 100% ready. Everything's, and I feel. Oh, and the peak perfectly. Obviously, I just announced today that just over two weeks that fight, and I'm just coming into my peak now. Sparring's going well. Everything, so everything's going really well, mate. I can't really be any more happier than what I can be at the moment. That's good to hear, mate. That's good to hear. Yeah. So, um, yeah, well, I've spoken to Frank Warren before about you, and he says that you know the, the likes of Daniel Dubois, Anthony Yard, these guys who, who are the poster boys for BT. Sport. Yeah. He imagined that you would be one of in that in that mix, be one of the yeah. one of the faces of BT Sport. So, yeah, 
would would you say now at, at, with, with the talent that you've got that even this mm. year, I'm not saying it will happen but this year you can mix it at world level right do you truly believe that I do truly believe it yeah like I say I've sparred some quality operators do you know what I mean people who have fought for world titles or on the verge of world titles or have been world champions themselves I've sparred a lot the whole lot do you know what I mean and I know if I'm 100% focused like I am at, at this moment in time and how good it is I know that I definitely can mix it at world level. So like you said, it'd be too early this year to obviously be mixing at world level, I think. But definitely domestically, like in the continental toll, English, British, along them lines by the end of this year. And then just, you just got to see with time, do you know what I mean? You can't like over predict something. You just got to keep doing what I can do, keep winning, keep looking good. And then we see what's in the future. And a lot of fans, uh, especially more casual fans, won't be aware of you, Ryan, because obviously you missed mm. the kind of last few years where you could have really yeah, yeah, impact yeah. On, on television. Do you think fans tuning in on April 30th and, and following on this year, watching you on TV, are going to be really shocked by your talent? Because as, as we say, we, a lot of people won't know yeah. you. Yeah, like you say, a lot of people haven't seen me for a little while. There was, there was, was, Everyone was ranting and raving about me when I was coming through when I was like 18, 19. And then it's been a bit of a no-show for the last couple of years. But I'm sure the viewers on BT Sport and all the other boxer fans and all that, lot, they're going to see me make a statement on the 30th. And I truly believe the way I'm feeling and what, like how focused I am, that I'm going to look really good. Do you know what I mean? I've got no excuses. I can't make no excuses because I've been training my ass off and I've been feeling amazing. So if I don't put on a performance, then I'll be very surprised. And I have no excuses, but... I feel like I am going to make a statement on the 30th and then from here on out. And obviously my style as well. I've got a proper fan-friendly style. Everyone's always said that. So I think they're going to be in for a good good viewing on the 30th and so forth. Not going to mention any names or where I heard it from, but I've heard you've been uh, mm. a few people inspiring recently. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> uh, oh, it's all sparring it. Do you know what I mean? It brings you on. All sparring's good, so... I'm not the one of them type of people that fucking, do you know what I mean? Bad mouth the sparring partners and that because it's, it's not a good look. So no, I just got to no, keep I'm doing. Not saying that, yeah, yeah. I'm, no, I'm, no, I'm, no, course, you're yeah. firing in all cylinders, basically. Yeah, like I say, I, I, I'm everything's going perfect at the moment. I'm training hard, sparring well, so I can't ask better for myself really. And I just got to keep building on it and not dwelling on it, like I have done in the past. I just got to build on it, build that foundation after this fight. Just keep keep staying in camp. And then just keep going, really. Do you think this year that you mm. can shock British boxing? Pardon? Do you think this year that you can shock British boxing? Uh, yeah, I do. I do I do, and I don't. Like, like Quite a lot of, maybe fans I'd shock a bit, but quite a few people who have seen me fight and spar and stuff like that, I don't think they'd be as shocked because they know how I can fight. And obviously, a lot of people, a lot of people in the boxing world know I can fight, so they won't be as shocked. No, I'm talking more fans, about the fans, really. I'm talking more about yeah, um, yeah. I think I think they will be in for a shock because I like to say I want to get a move on now because I've I've missed quite a few vital years in your prime and that coming through, and I want to get a little bit of a move on, not too fast, but a little bit of a move on, and then from there, like I say, these, these a lot of fans will be very surprised how quickly I, I might step up in the rankings, but only time will tell, won't it? And can you make a promise to yourself and all the fans watching now and, and everyone in your team, Ryan, that yeah. this time round you will commit to it? Oh, 100%. I'm, I'm 100% committed. Like you say, I've got more responsibilities now. I've got a girlfriend, I've got my own flat and I want to buy a house. I mean, I've got my own ambitions. I want to, I'm saving up to get a house and stuff like that. So I've got, I've got to stay focused this time as this, I'll be fucked really. Do you know what I mean? I've got to stay focused. So I'll promise. I'll promise my fans, my friends, my family, everyone, my trainer, and that everyone is stuck by me at this time. I will do it. Do you know what I mean? Well, it's good to hear all the positivity coming out of you because, as I mm. said earlier, from when I speak to people in boxing, they they rave about you, literally rave. About yeah, you. yeah. Where yeah. I'm excited to see you in the ring, as I'm sure all the fans will be. Tune in April 30th for Ryan Garner's return. Is there anything you'd like to add before we go? Um. Nah, just like you said, because I feel it's going to be a, a clinical performance and I'm going to look good and just support the journey and watch from there on out. Nice t shirt, that man. 
Yeah, so well, yeah, I've just announced it. I just announced it just before. Come on, Terrace Cult. Obviously, you've got the hat. Club it there. they just come board a sponsor of me. So hopefully, it'll be a, a big future with us working together. As a, that's what I've needed. I've always needed a good back end. Do you know what I mean? I've, I've, I've just one, just one good sponsor like Terrace Cult. Just one, like, just to give me a good back end and then hopefully it'll be a good relationship. And then, yeah, helps my career, doesn't it? Helps me. And it helps me be able to focus just on fighting, really. Definitely. I'm sure if you uh, get a few TV appearances and show your skills, you'll have a lot more sponsors. Ryan, thank yeah. you for coming to IFL TV and we'll catch up with you on Fight Week, all right? Top man. Top man, Uma. See you Fight Week. Cheers, mate. Bye, right, mate. Bye, bye. 